Hello everybody and welcome back for our Monday channel reading. As usual, I've drawn a card for us from Reinforced Wisdom deck and I haven't looked at it yet. I hope all of you had a really nice weekend. Let's go ahead and dive in, see what our energy theme was, is <laughs> for this coming week. Oh, freedom. Okay, so when this card comes up, it can be about shaking off the limiting standards of the status quo. So let's go in here and see what the freedom card means for us this week. The way that I'm reading this first is that this is more of a divergence from the status quo of our own lives. Uh, at least that's the first way that they're showing it to me. So when I say status quo, I mean the way that we typically do things, the way that we typically show up for ourselves, the way that we typically approach the things that we do in our lives. And this week might be a time when we take a different approach or we shake off the typical routine or we bring in some kind of new idea or new energy into something that uh, that we typically do in our lives that makes it feel more free or just makes it feel like um, out of the ordinary um, adding novelty into our experience more this week let's go back in there Mm -hmm. So I'm hearing the word experimentation, I'm hearing the word experimentation within the habits and the routines and the responsibilities and the, the things that we show up and do for ourselves, anywhere where something might be feeling like it could use a little bit more excitement where it could use some kind of fresh energy where we might be something that we might do, but we drag our feet toward doing, uh, we're being asked to experiment, bring in experimental energy into these things to see if maybe there's a different way of showing up here that might make, um, might bring some more spontaneity into our lives and might make this task or this um, routine feel more exciting and interesting to us. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Just because we've been doing things a certain way up until now does not mean that we have to continue to do it that way. And this is a week where we might get bursts of inspiration or aha moments or light bulbs going on regarding, wait a second, I have outgrown this way of doing this thing, or this, this is an old way of doing this that actually isn't relevant and isn't serving me to the, to the highest capacity anymore. It reminds me a, a lot of like, well, I think about this a lot in, in taking care of my kids because what can happen is that you get so used to doing things for them or doing things in a certain way or having a routine that um, is appropriate for a certain age. And then they get to a new age, a new stage of you know development, but you keep doing it the way that you have been doing it because you haven't realized yet that like, they've grown out of this way of doing something like they've grown out of using these kinds of toys or these kinds of, um, you know, tools or whatever it is, or like they're old enough to do this thing for themselves and I keep doing it for them. And then you'll get that like breakthrough moment where you're just like, Oh, right. I don't have to keep doing this anymore. We're moving on. 
And it's the same kind of energy here this week where you might just have this moment of like realization that, wait a second, I don't have to do this thing this way anymore. I can, uh, I can change this now. I'm ready. Something has, has grown up <laughs> or something has changed in a way where uh, it's not necessarily relevant or it's not necessarily working the best way for me anymore. So, all right, so that is one theme that's coming up. Let's see if there's anything else here that our guides want to show us. It's all right also to take a moment and to honor the thing that we might have grown out of, whether it's the system in our lives that we've grown out of, or the tool, or the approach to something, or the outdated defense mechanism, or the way of being in a relationship, or whatever this is that we have this realization around. It's okay to take a moment to honor it, to be like, wow, I really needed it to be that way. It had to be that way for this time of my life and it, and it really used to work for me and I'm grateful for it because it got me here. And so thank you to that thing and um, honoring it and then letting it go, um, acknowledging the moment as being, um, you know, some kind of like a milestone or uh, a stepping stone on the path to even, you know, the next chapter of our lives and the next way of showing up. Mm -hmm. Shifting directions here a little bit. So this energy for some of us this week, it's going to come through in the form of wanting to try some new things. It feels like we're not holding ourselves back very much this week. It feels very expansive. It feels inspiring and it feels um, encouraging and confidence building in a way where we might be like, you know what, I'm just gonna try this thing. <laughs> I'm gonna experiment. Again, coming in with that experimental energy and letting it move through us where we're just like, I don't know, maybe I've never tried this thing before and this you know, this week I'm going to um, give it a shot. Uh, it, it feels like getting outside, again, getting outside of the box a little bit and allowing ourselves to explore the freedom that we have in our lives to, to try new things, to try, things differently, um, to have the confidence and the courage to, um, to, to move outside of the box of our lives and to, again, experiment with new and exciting activities, um, relationships. It, this could apply to, to anything, really, and however it applies to you is relevant. It's probably going to be different for everyone here. Mm -hmm. It also kind of feels like, um, like a rapid expansion, almost like, <sighs> I mean, I don't know how this happens, but this is what I'm seeing. It's almost like it hits us really quickly. Something, it, okay, it could come in the form of feeling like really just all of a sudden I'm over it in some way. And it could be a lot of different things, but the feeling is kind of like, you know what, like it, one day it was okay and then the next day it just kind of feels like, nope, I'm not, I'm done, right? I'm, I'm done with this thing. And that might point us to where we are expanding. It might point us to where um, we want to experiment and try new things. 
So that's one way that it could show up. Another way could be that all of a sudden something comes in and just expands us. Um, you know, we, we, we try something new or we get introduced to something or someone or just something that just feels like it comes in and it just changes us really quickly. And then we look back at our life just not even that long ago and we might be like, whoa, <laughs> what just happened? Like, how did I change so quickly in such a short period of time? So that's an interesting one. I don't necessarily think that that's going to be true for everyone here, but I do think that that is a, a strong possibility for, for a handful of us, for sure. And this week might be a week where that expansion really comes in and we start feeling it. And then they're showing me the, um, the, the image of riding a wave and how if change is coming and it's coming for us <laughs> to allow it to change us, right? Like there's no point in fighting against a wave in the ocean, right? The most, uh, the, the easiest way is to, to ride it, to allow it to, to move us rather than trying to move against it or trying to resist it. And that's what our guides are saying. It's like, if the, if the wave of change is coming, uh, the, the best thing to do is allow it to move us in the direction that it wants to move us. This feels like a really positive influence. It feels like a, um, like a positive wave that something is coming in to move us in a um, uplifting, encouraging direction. So that's why the, the trust is, that, that trusting feeling is there with this change. And it's nothing that we haven't already asked for on some level or, or recognized that would be would be good for us on some level. It's just that when it comes, it might come faster than we expect it to, or it might come in a way that feels overpowering. And again, like if it's coming, then writing it out and allowing to see where it's taking us is what our guys are saying, the best approach. Right? Woo! Exciting. <laughs> All right, everybody. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you next Monday. Take care.